and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a rain cloud icon. Start with a rectangle, just drag it freeform so don't hold any keys. Afterwards go to path and object to path. And then you can add on the path effects the corners effect. Select the notes tool, drag it across the entire object and now you can adjust one of these corner points and all of the others are adjusted as well at the same time. Then use the ellipse tool, once again don't hold any keys. Reposition this one. We're going to use a second one, so just control D on this object to copy it and then size it down a little bit, maybe up to here. Press Ctrl A to select it all, then Path and Union to make it one object. Click on the X to get rid of the fill, then hold Shift and click on the black color swatch to give the stroke. Under Object, Fill and Stroke, we can increase the width of the stroke. Maybe to, let's say 15 in this case. I use millimeters. Use the Z tool, left click, then hold Ctrl and it's going to snap into specific angles. We'll use this one like a 45 degree angle. Increase the width and give it a round cap. Then Ctrl D, hold Ctrl when you drag it to the right hand side. Select these three lines, then use align and distribute and distribute it properly. Ctrl G to group it, select it all and align it. Maybe it's a little bit too big, so size it down holding Shift and Ctrl. And afterwards you'll have to readjust the width of the stroke. You see that right here. If you make both 15, so the same width, it's still not perfect, so you may want to go down with these lines. Let me just use 12 in this case. Once you've got what you want, select it all, Ctrl G to group it, and this so you can create such a rain cloud icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.